Do you feel exhausted, overworked, even terrible during lunch? Let me enlighten you. Let me show you now. Close your eyes and put out your hands. Whoa! The cafeteria food is delicious. It's nutritious. It's refreshing. Enjoy a bite of heaven from our very own cafeteria. The cafeteria food also gives you strength. I need more. Speed. And you see a lot inside the cafeteria. It's pretty long. And patience. Got it. Feel empowered! I love the mountains. I love the clear blue skies. I love big bridges. I love when great whites fly. I love the whole world and all its sights and sounds. Boom di da, boom di da, boom di da, boom di da. Hey guys, it's Jason Gorelick, and this is your green tip of the week. Whenever you go to Publix, Sedanos, Fresco y Mas, CVS, Presidente Supermarket, or wherever else you buy your canned sodas, once you finish drinking all of them or unpackage them. Get the plastic rings that keep the cans together and cut them before throwing them away. The reason behind this is so animals like turtles and even some birds don't get stuck in them or choke, just how like the Warriors did in the 2016 finals or like how Hillary did in last year's election. So unless you want to be known as an animal slash bird choker, I suggest you cut your plastic soda rings. Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to this very special segment of Math for Dummies, where we teach you how not to be a dummy in math. I'm your host, Zach, and today I'm going to teach you how to factor, because you know, it's kind of important in math. Let's go! So today, we're going to focus on factoring polynomials. So how do you find these factors, you may ask yourself? Well, let me show you! So the way to find the factors of this polynomial is to find the two factors of these two n numbers that when multiplied add up to make the number in the middle, which is 3x. So here, we can make a cross, and on this side, we'll have the factors of x squared, and on this side, we'll have the factors of 2. So here, we know that the only two factors of x squared are x and x, and the only factors of 2 are 1 and 2. So now, we have to check that when we cross multiply them, they add up to 3x. So we have x times 1, which is x, and x times 2, which is 2x, and when added, they make up 3x. So now, we have our solution. And it's as simple as that is what I would say if it was as simple as that. And it is, but not in other cases. Let me show you another example where this treachery comes into play. So here we have another example. So the fact that this polynomial, we have to make another cross. And here we have the factors of 6x squared. And here the factors of negative 2. And there's a negative, so it's harder this time. So because I'm a nice guy, I'll just give you the answers. But normally, I wouldn't. So here we have 2x and here 3x. And on this side, we have negative 1 and 2. So now when we cross multiply them, we get negative 1 times 3x, which is negative 3x. And we have 2x times 2, which is 4x. And when you add them, you get just x. So here, our solution would be 2x minus 1 and 3x plus 2. Congratulations. You're hopefully not as terrible when it comes to factoring. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Math for Dummies. I hope you join us again for our next episode that doesn't exist and probably never will. Today's period numbers are 5, 